is the official weigh-in for EFC 42. Live from Grand West, champion Dolce's chance has arrived earlier than expected. Will the big man from the DRC be ready for his biggest test yet? game for a long time, as he said. You know, he hasn't made food. He wasn't a chef all his life. He's been fighting all his life, no disrespect. But he's been fighting, he's been waiting for this opportunity. There's a big difference when you're going from a three-round war to a five-round war. And we've seen Champion that if you have one drawback about his game, is that sometimes he loses that stamina. Sometimes the gas is out of the tank. He has to up his training. He has to go to a whole nother league to face a guy like Chef Vessel. This one we've had over two months, so now, of course, the first two weeks, we've tired him out, we've made him into things at places that he doesn't want to go to, you want to make him comfortable. DP, Dragon Power, that pushed me until the end. That's me. I'm good, I'm ready. I'm good. We're looking at champion, we're very confident, you know, he's got enough time and hope Norman's ready for a good fight. This man is a judo specialist with an undefeated record of four wins and no losses. Fighting out of Maitland, Cape Town, champion Dolce! Trying to get it to the gun. Great Fantastic by champion Dolce. Got the underhook, but Champion Dolce is going to put him on his back. Raw power, Dirk. Raw power right there. Champion Dolce made his EFC debut in front of his hometown fans in Cape Town, scoring an impressive debut victory over Rulof Skippers. Then, at EFC 34, the DRC monster demolished Pete Matong with brute strength and an ever-improving ground game. EFC 35 would prove to be Dolce's toughest test yet as he went up against Hexagon veteran Donny van Heerden, a test he passed with flying colors. Next up for the DRC man was the English giant, Yannick Bahati. A tough fight for Dolce, but eventually he got the unanimous decision victory.